Well, hello friends and welcome to another episode of Bollywood This Week. Friends, the movie which you're going to review today is none other than Salman Khan's film Tube Light, starring Salman Khan himself, Zuzu, the international Chinese film actress, the small little boy Martin Re Tangu, Sohail Khan, Om Puri, Zishan Ayub in the main lead. The film has been directed by Kabir Khan. If you don't know who Kabir Khan is, Kabir Khan is a director of famous movies such as New York, Kabul Express, Bajrangi Bhaijan and Ekta Tiger and this review is for all the international audiences and for all the audiences who do not understand Hindi and for the English speaking audiences with me Amir Ansari if you like this review please like share and subscribe to our channel this is the review of Salman Khan's film Tube Light. Well, for the international audiences and audiences who don't know Salman Khan, Salman Khan is mostly known for his superstardom and the concept, the myth that if Salman stands, you know, on screen, that is enough for to it for bringing the audiences to the cinema halls. One very famous critic said that reviewing a Salman Khan film is like, you know, ironing an underwear. Yes friends, a very famous critic in India once said that reviewing a Salman Khan film is like ironing your underwear, it's no use. But seriously speaking, this movie Tube Light will break all myths conception and shatter all those views about Salman Khan that this man cannot act. He has obviously shattered those views with Sultan Bajrangi Bhaijan in the past two years but this movie will finally set all these you know rumors and talks to rest that this man cannot act because tube light is a masterpiece not only a because of salman khan but this is a collective effort by director kabir khan and a person special person i want to thank for making tube light what it is a legendary cinema is mr zishan ayub not many people know who this person called as zishan ayub is we in india have been praising him for a long period of time but friends Zishan Ayub is the person who was in Tanu Meds Manu Returns and was also Shah Rukh Khan's friend in the movie Raiz. He is a stalwart in this movie. The scenes where he slaps Salman Khan takes guts and intense you know effort and he portrays this fantastically on screen. Talking about Kabir Khan right from getting the number plates of the Chinese military tanks to getting the costumes and looks of the 1962 era to bringing in the telephone angle in the movie yes friends telephone started coming into the people's house very very new concept at that time to making sets looking so real behind those green large chroma screens and to making the visuals so realistic and going into un you know untapped locations of india and making a movie so polished that when you come out of the theater you feel that oh god i am proud to be part i was proud to be part of associated with tube light first day first show and i have seen a good movie talking about its comparisons with the mu movie you know the little boy well friends the makers have obviously stated clearly Yes friends, it is clearly mentioned in the rolling titles of this film that this movie is inspired from the little boy. But after this film, I can surely tell you, people will know the little boy because of tube light because this is a fantastic adaptation he has brought in indian elements of gandhi ji his principles and people who want to learn about mr mohandas karamchand gandhi the father of the nation should go and watch this movie because his principles and whatever he was teachings was during that times about truth about ahinsa that is non-violence is perfectly portrayed through the eyes of a man who is not meant stable not what you and me can do but the vishwas the yakin yes friends the belief the concept of this movie is belief if you have belief in your heart you can even you know move mountains that concept makes this movie a winner at the box office and with Shah Rukh Khan making the special appearance of his lifetime known for giving special appearances without any meaning or purpose Shah Rukh Khan's special appearance in this film is a must watch yes friends Shah Rukh Khan's role as Gogo Pasha in this movie who comes and introduces the concept of belief by keeping a glass bottle also called as the Banta soda bottle in front of Salman Khan and telling him to concentrate so that the bottle can move 
brings in a unique concept into Indian cinema and after one and a half hour of the movie coming to the climax of the film every character in this movie tries you know to shake something or the other with the concept of belief so friends without wasting much time let's review the film Tube Light Tube Light's music is the main point the song of the film Tube Light Nach Meri Jaan radio song and Tinka Tinka and Main Agar are the highlights you will become you know I guess these songs will become you know the songs which will be on the loop of your mobile phone every morning because the songs are so beautifully picturized and shot the melody the tone the singing and pritham for once excels in making an original soundtrack worth listening every day for months and months to come talking about the repeat value of this film the film has an immense repeat value this movie will snatch you catch you get hold of you every morning and push you back into the theater to watch this movie with every viewing experience you will come to know what different elements in this movie were missed by you during the first viewing talking about his chinese actors zuzu martin retingu excellent effort but the vulnerable mention of this movie is mr sohel khan sohel khan is always known to play comic roles and action like figures but in this movie the climax scene where he gives the most controlled performance of his lifetime will make you cry like buckets and mr om puri who is no more with us when he comes on screen and tells these are my words when i go from this world you'll remember me those scenes are very emotional friends and you feel very emotional seeing those scenes and talking about zishan you i have spoken enough he is the future of bollywood the movie starts with salman khan who is mentally unstable and has a brother sohel khan who both want to get into the army why because china has attacked india and yashpal sharma famously known as the betrayal of the indian cricket team player in the movie lagan is the major of the army over here who you know for not forces but you know pleads with the you know youth of the village kumgaon that please come and help us in the military affairs after undergoing training sohel khan passes a test and gets you know enrolled in the military training but zishan ayub and salman khan do not get selected for the military because salman obviously is not mentally stable and zishan has a crooked knee disorder because of which he falls down while running sohel is on the verge of going for the fight which was the war has been broken down between India and China and Salman Khan you know tears in his eyes and is bidding his brother adieu fantastic scene the war starts over there Salman starts missing his brother but now he wants his brother to come back to which you know Shahrukh Khan and Om Puri you know enroll the faith of belief in his heart and that's when he starts following Gandhi ji's principles given to him by Om Puri of which the first thing is to greet people nicely and to be friends with the enemies that's why he goes to become friends with the new chinese immigrants zuzu and martin retangu whose father is a chinese and they are of indian origin who come to live in that village fantastic comedy follows how salman gets you know used with the small kid how in the initial part he does not accept salman's friendship and how they become friends is absolutely fantastic you'll get bowled over by it and how the villagers do not accept you know the chinese martin retangu the small kid and his mother in the village is very beautifully shown you know there is disputes there is fight as they do not they do not want them to be in the village and how in the interval news breaks in that sohel khan may be dead in the war and salman who buys his 23 rupees and 962 time favorite shoes hangs it around his neck and is seen crying fantastic interval moment friends and after interval the movie takes another level another height where salman wants to you know restore the belief of faith and one day when he comes and concentrates his energy and makes you know the mountains the you know the river and the land shake and the villagers who believe that this has been caused by salman's belief and his actions were wrong obviously because it was caused by an earthquake give respect to gives that gives respect to salman khan in the hearts of many people talking about sohel khan sohel khan gets captured by you know the army over there fantastic scene talking about the military portion of this movie kabir khan has made a fantastic movie his concentration on the tanks the bullet sound effect is the main thing of this movie how the chinese military have you know high end guns and how the sound of the bullet tak 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 is very different from the bullet sound of the indian army that is dish 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 shows the effort he has put into this art direction fantastic village recreation sohel khan has been 
captured by the Chinese army, but due to some miscommunication, due to a miscommunication of a shoe, people come to know in the Indian army that he is dead. Salman assumes his brother is dead, and the scene where he throws the ashes into the river of Sohail Khan, you know, thinking that he is dead, is absolutely amazing. Salman Khan is the emotional element of this movie without even blowing a punch to the villain, without even removing his shirt. Salman gives a knockout performance because of which I give this movie 5 out of 5 stars. Talking about the performance of Salman Khan, this movie will be etched in the memory of each and everyone watching this movie. So friends, this was the movie review of the movie Tube Light exclusively in English language. If you like this review, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. This is me Amir Ansari. I come every week with a new movie review. Till then, as I always say, stay cool man.